So here is an OEM Apple uh, battery pulled out of a 7th gen. Um, as you can see, it's running at 3.7 volts. And uh, 2.04 watt hours, right? Um, so a lot of you probably have this kind of battery. Um, and wrong one. This kind of battery. I mean, they're the same. This one, uh, the text just uh, peeled away. Uh, you can see again, 3.7 volts, um, and then if you turn it around back here, uh, 2.04 watt hours, right there. So if you put that into the calculator, uh, it gets you about 550 milliamp hours. Um, now that is assuming that this is brand new. Um, of course it's not. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at how to uh, uh, interpret uh, used batteries. So here's a new battery. Um, I know I just said we were going to talk about used batteries, but um, for a point of reference, we're going to go ahead and use a new one here. Uh, 3.7 volts, 650 milliamp hours. Um, it is brand new. Just took it out of the box, and I did uh, fully charge it. Uh, so we're going to let this iPod boot up real quick, verify that it is fully charged, and do some tests. Okay, so it's not fully charged. It claims to be fully charged. Um, we're gonna go ahead. The iPod is on now. Um, it claims to be fully charged. So we're gonna go ahead and go into diagnostic mode. You're gonna hold center menu. And then hold previous track and center. And we're in, go ahead and press menu. Uh, we're gonna go down to power here. A2D and then battery A2D. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna tell us the voltage that the battery is running at. Uh, so uh, yeah, about four volts. Um, so that that is good. Um, you know, that that's what you would expect um, you know, 4.1 volts, call it, uh, out of a new battery that is uh, uh, fully charged, right? Uh, let's see here. Because I bet you when I restart it, it's not going to be fully charged. Um, you know, they are old batteries. It's old technology. Um, so it, they kind of do have a hard time, you know, telling if they're fully charged or if they're at 90, 95. Um, the best way to tell that is by doing that A to D test. So yeah, so let's see. Uh, we could call that 85, 90%. Um, so that would line up with the 4.2 at 100. Um, so basically you can conclude that because this battery, call it 90%, um, at 90% is operating at, uh, you know, 4.08, 4.1 volts, uh, that it's all good. And of course it's all good, it's brand new, it should be. Um, but that, you know, that's the baseline, right? So let's uh, go on to a used battery. All right, so for a used battery, we're gonna be using this cell. It's a 450 milliamp hour cell at 3.7 volts or 1.7 watt hours. It is a, a lithium polymer LiPo pack. Um, this uh, battery came out of a customer's device. I went ahead and replaced it for him. Um, he said he used it for about four years, basically every day. Um, I do know it does work, and I do know that it's seen, uh, you know, a lot of use. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in, uh, see what kind of uh, percentage reading the operating system gives us, and compare that with the voltage that the uh, test gives us. So I'm going to wait for it to boot up here. All right, so it's booted up. Um, we'll call that about 50%, maybe 55%. Um, Go ahead and test the voltage for that. So I've got a chart here um, as far as uh, single cell lithium polymer batteries are concerned uh, where it gives uh, the um, relationship between uh, voltage and capacity uh, as far as uh, you know, capacity of charge, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and compare the voltage that we get from this test to the um, ideal voltage 
on the chart. So about 50%, 55%, uh, we're at 3.92 volts. Uh, taking a look at the chart here, uh, 3.91 volts for a single cell is associated with about 65, 70% charge. Um, you know, uh, 3.91, right? It's no less, it's no more. Um, so I'm not gonna go below that. Uh, 3.91 is directly associated with 65%. Um, and we are at about 50, maybe 55. Um, 50 is associated with 3.84 and 55 is 3.85. Uh, so we can conclude that this battery um, has taken some wear, right? Um, at uh, this voltage, you would expect for it to be 10, 15, maybe 20% higher. Uh, so we can estimate that the uh, uh, capacity of this battery is about 15, maybe 20% uh, less than the uh, uh, ratings on the actual cell itself uh, may suggest due to its uh, you know four years of use. Um, if this number falls below 3.7, the operating voltage, uh, the iPod will cease to power on uh, entirely. Um, so at 50% at 3.9, you're cutting it pretty close. Um, yeah, that's about it. So some of the original OEM Apple batteries don't have any mention of uh, voltage, watt hours, uh, milliamp hours, etc. Um, this battery right here, the blue one, um, these came in the fifth and sixth generation classics, or uh, you know the video if you want to call it. Um, it doesn't have any mention, um, but a quick googling of that part number right here, uh, the six one six o two three o, will uh, give you all the information you need regarding voltage and uh, and whatnot. These are actually four hundred and fifty milliamp hours. Um, it's kind of hard to see in real life, uh, let alone on video. Um, but they are actually physically smaller uh, than the yellow cells. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, they're lined up right there. You can see there's there's a tiny bit. Uh, the difference is this is lithium ion. That one's a lithium uh, polymer. Um, you, you know, different battery technologies. Yeah, you'll yield different results. But at the end of the day, they're not that much different. Um, but just a little fun fact.